Hey guys, Quang and Grizzire back again with another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Xbox One X again and something that's going to be, uh, I think, re relatable or relevant to a lot of people that plan on buying the Xbox One X or really just anyone that's considering buying the Xbox One X. And that is the topic of this video is going to be now is the best time to sell your original Xbox One. A lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, selling their original Xbox One or maybe even Xbox One S's. Uh, to maybe in part pay for the Xbox One X or you know help fund you know buying the Xbox One X or just you know to gain a little bit of money back after uh, after buying the Xbox One X because it's you know it's a pretty meaty price it's a decent price for what's inside of it but it's still a pretty meaty price and it's one of the more expensive consoles really of I think it is probably the, the most expensive console for quite a while um, and uh, yeah so a lot of people are going to be selling their original Xboxes and my sort of theory is now, my idea is now is the best time to sell your original Xbox just before the Xbox One X comes out because right now the price of it or, or the sort of the rarity and the demand of the Xbox One is actually going to go up. Strangely enough, it's going to go up before the uh, before the Xbox One X comes out. When the Xbox One X comes out, the relevance and the significance of the original Xbox One will go down and the price of it will go down. So if you sell it at that point, you won't get very much money for it. But if you sold it now, if you sell your Xbox One now, uh, the price is actually going to be higher than it will be for quite a while and than it has been for really a long time. And the reason for that is because Microsoft has actually stopped production of uh, the, the original Xbox One. They stopped selling it and they've stopped uh, producing it. There is going to be a few original Xbox Ones left in circulation, you know, in online retailers, online stores, online shops, and, you know, Amazon and eBay and stuff. There's not going to be any brand new models. There'll be some, you know, like the last wave of Xbox Ones that are hanging around in warehouses for sh uh, for uh, stores and shops. There isn't actually going to be any new products, any new, you know, black Xbox Ones being made, and that means that the uh, that that means that there's actually like an increased rarity and increased demand for Xbox Ones because there's a lot of uh, people out there that still haven't bought a current gen console. Maybe because you know they don't have the money for it. That's fair enough. Maybe the kids, obviously, the kids don't have a lot of money to spare. And they're not going to be able to afford an Xbox One usually. Maybe the parents of kids or the families of kids that. Uh, you know, haven't been able to get them an Xbox One up until now, or a current gen console up until now. So that really adds like a whole new market for uh, selling off your Xbox One now, because they're going to be in increased demand now. That there's so few, uh, so few consoles available, and so f so few consoles out there. There's going to be like an increased demand and an in increased uh, sort of uh, want for them running up to the xbox one x, one x and you're also going to get a much better price for it because they're rare and because a lot more people are going to be going after it and trying to uh you know trying to buy one this is the best time to sell off your xbox one not after the release of the scorpio or the xbox one x because if you do that you'll only get a tiny pittance of money for it and a lot of people paid i gotta get inside because i'm about to die out here so i gotta get inside but uh a lot of people have only, uh, you know, have paid like three hundred, four hundred dollars for the Black Xbox One. You're only going to make about probably a hundred, hundred and twenty of that back if you sell it after the release of Xbox One X. But if you sell it now, if you sell it uh, right now, uh, whilst the rare, whilst the rarity is going up, and whilst all the families and family members and stuff are trying to buy them for their relatives and for the kids and stuff, you're actually going to make a, yeah, a good profit from it. You're actually, well, maybe not a profit, but you're going to make more money from it now. Than at any other time, and if you wait after the release of uh, of the Xbox One X, if you wait for the, you know the release of the Xbox One X, you'll make no money basically at all, uh, you know, for for selling it off then. And if you wait even longer, if you wait into late November, the Xbox One X releases in early November, and uh, if you wait into early, you know just so much as two weeks after that, you're actually going to make no money for it because Black Friday will come, like, sort of uh, arrive. I think it's the 24th of November this year, and obviously everything is reduced in price, then uh, everything is, you know, lower in price at that point, and you're not going to get any other. You'll get, like, $60, $70 for an Xbox One, uh, original Xbox One, because they're, they're just, you know, at that point, nobody will want them. No, they won't be significant. You won't, uh, no, no one will be sort of uh, demanding them or they won't be, really be in demand because the Xbox One X would have come out and the Xbox One S, the white one, would have uh, dropped in price because of the release of the Xbox One X and because of Black Friday. So now is the best time to sell off your Xbox. You'll get the most money for it. This is like the, the last good chance to sell off your original Xbox before 
price has sort of uh, started to drop massively. And uh, if you'd sold it, say, uh, six months ago before sort of the, the pre-order and big announcement of the Xbox One X, your black Xbox One back then, uh, you would have actually made less money from what you will do now, what you will actually make now. If you were set off now, uh, you will make a good amount of money compared to, you know, before compared to how you would have back then, which is pretty damn cool. And I thought I'd share it with you because I know it's going to be, I'm just in this house right now because I'm burning to death outside. So I've got to stay in this house. But I thought I'd share it with you guys because it's kind of like a, uh, it's a valid sort of strategy. A lot of people are going to be considering that plan and, you know, considering, considering that sort of tactic. Uh, for saving up for the Xbox One X or for making a little bit of money back after you sell, you know, your original uh, Xbox in favor of the Xbox One X. A lot of people are going to be doing that and, and using that same tactic and that same strategy. And I thought that this would probably help a lot of you guys out because, like I said, a lot of people are going to be selling it. Now is the best time to sell it. Now, I'm recording this at the end of August right now. Uh, now, September and October, uh, specifically September. September and early October would probably be the best time to sell it. Um, simply because it's going to be in, in the most demand uh, compared to how it's going to be, you know, after the Xbox One X comes out, which is in no demand at all, really. And even if it was in demand, there's not going to be any new copies or versions of the Xbox One original being made. And, uh, you know, it's going to drop down in price massively. So you're not going to get very much money for it if you try and sell yours, especially if yours is second hand, which it likely will be. So, yeah, that's my sort of um, my sort of idea. That's a good way of uh, a good way of making more money back because I know a lot of people are going to be selling their original Xbox Ones right now. And by the way, I said before about the Xbox One not being in production anymore. That is true. That's 100% true. You can look it up. But the thing is, the white Xbox One, the uh, Xbox One S, actually is still in uh, production, and that's going to be like the sort of the back burner and so sort of the, the 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 lower end product and they're going to run with the xbox one x them being microsoft they're going to run with the xbox one x as their flagship model and the you know the the y xbox one is going to be that their next in line type of thing and type of deal where is the black xbox one that's just not needed now and that uh microsoft is not producing them anymore because they're not going to make much money for microsoft so they're going to drop them so yeah now august uh, late august uh, September and early October. I wouldn't say late October because you're getting really close to the launch of the Xbox One X then, but early October, uh, all of those months, all that time, very good time to sell your original Xbox if you plan on doing it or if you plan on investing in an Xbox One X at any point. Very good time and very good uh, point in time to sell it off. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys find it informative or helpful. If you did, leave a like. It would really help me out and I would really appreciate it. If you want to see any more of my videos, definitely stick around and subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.